YouTube, what's going on boys? We're back for another video. And for today's video boys, we're going to be doing something a little bit different because it is career mode. I know, but I wanted to try this out, so hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Before anything, leave a like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Um, on Saturday, we did stream, and then Sunday, I just decided to take a little day off just because we've been uploading for a minute, and I was like, you know what, let me just chill, watch some American football, and that's what we did. But we're back, boys, and this is going to be something a little different, as I said, um, but boys... Hopefully you guys do not cringe because I know there's going to be a lot of, you know, there might be some people that are hurt by this, you know, but we had to do what we had to do. Since EA, you know, took out the feature where you could use icons in career mode, we had to do the second best thing, which was create our very own players. And I'm not going to lie, at first we did have some decently looking similar players to what they look like in game, but because there was squad updates or something, I'm not too sure what happened, but basically... I had this video planned out when um, Early Access was out, and I don't know how, but my players got deleted, so I got pretty upset, and I just scrapped the whole video, but I thought, you know what, let me let me just try it again. Um, so I was doing that last night while watching football, and I just wanted to do it as fast as I could, because I was just not in the mood to play FIFA, but ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you guys don't cringe too much, because I know this is going to be kind of nasty, but as you guys do see... We do have some, you know, Barca legends per se. The thing is, why Ter Stegen is 96 overall, because obviously this is going to be the best Barcelona team of all time. So obviously we're going to have to put Ter Stegen at his best overall, and that was with the team of the season that he's had. Um, I think it was last year at 96. Um, same thing with PK. I think he had a team of the season that was 94, either last year or the year before that, um, in FIFA 19. Or, I know he had a team of the year as well, but... Yeah, and then Carlos Puyol, I know, I don't know why I put it at, I don't know why it's at an 88, I put all of his stats to a 90, I think it was a 93, that I handed my notes to put his stats at, same thing with Komen, um, but I know that all these players, their contra or their, their overalls are just dropping just because they're 35 years old, but I thought I just put them at 35 just because it'd make it a little bit more fair, but basically the objective of this video, boys, is to win, obviously, everything, the league, the Champions League, the Spanish Cup, whatever we're gonna try to win everything we already won the preseason tournament so i'm just gonna let that out um i wasn't recording i guess i don't know i thought i was recording but i wasn't but we did sell some players and everything so edder militao was on a swap deal and i wasn't really gonna start him but i just sold and loaned a whole lot of players so they won't get like mad at me throughout the season because my starting 11 wasn't really you know they weren't included but as I said, you guys are going to get butt hurt with how these players look. Like, look at Danny Alves, boys. Like, nah, that, yeah. Holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? Yeah, that's not Danny Alves, obviously. And then again, Fred was another swap deal. Um, but we're not going to start any of these players right here. Unless they're legends. Like, I put Iniesta and this player right here. Low-key, when I seen his overall go up, I thought, like, damn, man. This brings back so many memories of Xavi and Iniesta. Um, but we do have Iniesta. At least he looks like himself. Uh, Diego Maradona looks nothing like Diego Maradona. He's kind of a little bit of Asian ascent right there. Yeah. And then Ronaldinho, yeah, looks nothing like Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho was a bit more darker, but yeah, boys. Xavi Hernandez, again, wow. He looks very, very similar to Diego Maradona. But, you know, we, we, we move. The fuck is that guy? And then we did bring Neymar back in just because I thought he was a really, really good player. And I, f I feel like he was a low key top tier player. And I know you guys might get offended because I know there's some players that aren't in this team that should be in this team. Um, I know like Haji or Haji's one of them. Oh, not Haji, but um, Laudrup is one of them. My bad. Um, I guess Haji, yeah, if I remember correctly. Um, I know. Who else? Ibra's one of them. There's just a whole lot of players, but for me, this is just kind of the top tier players. Messi, I put him at 99 just because he's the best player of all time, in my opinion. And Ronaldo's up there as well. But you guys can't talk smack about Messi, boys. He's just freaking undisputed to go. Um, same thing with Ronaldo. David Villa as well, I put him. And I made sure that the height and everything was like similar. So, I, I mean... I didn't make the player face really good, but I made sure that the height was good. 
you know the overall was decent this 93 overall was because he did get a international card when in fifa 8 in fifa 18 it was like a little throwback card that he had it was 93 overall um but yeah um thierry Henry, obviously his prime moment icon from last year was 95 so i put him at that and thierry Henry looks very very similar to thierry Henry. and then this is romario kirby this is romario kirby this is romario kirby boy if you don't uh, I'm not too sure why I put Kirby just because I freaking took out the last name, but I guess it didn't save this This video scuffed boys if you guys haven't noticed by the freaking players. This video is just gonna be scuffed it is what it is. <laughs> But we do have Romario as well if you guys do remember him from FIFA 14 And then we do have Samuel Eto'o who looks very very similar to Thierry Henry for some reason I guess the blood brothers um, And then we do have Johan Cruyff obviously who does not look anything like Johan Cruyff rest in peace Johan Cruyff sorry I had to offend you but i'm sorry and then we do have luis suarez a 99 overall again same thing with david via he did have a 99 overall card in fifa 18 so there's gonna be a lot of people saying that he doesn't deserve this but personally you know at his prime at barca i feel like he did but obviously last year wasn't really the best striker in the world but like i said the whole gist of this video is just to simulate and win everything win the treble per se um so we're gonna simulate the first match here and then see what's up and then take it from there um i did record this but i had to record it again because the whole freaking like the whole video didn't save for some reason so it was just part like it was only 29 minutes of the video that saved um which was i'm not saying this video is gonna be long but i'm just saying like some of the some of the video didn't save, which is kind of unfortunate you know it's kind of annoying but we move first win you know pretty pretty good and i'm kind of excited to see danny alves play I'm, i forgot to show you guys the starting 11 so i'll show you guys that right now and we're playing the three at the back just because there's so many good attackers um that i put into this team obviously because you know and i could have put rafa marquez in because i know he was a top tier center back and again i could have put yaya toure and players like that but there's only so many players i wanted to put in just because it was taking a bit too long and i needed a video for her today so yeah but we move but Obviously, we do have Romario here, and I know it's Romario, I know it's Kirby, but whatever. Um, then we do have Diego Maradona, Komen, Eto, um, Henri, David Villa, and then you guys saw all the players: Ter Stegen, Puyol, Pique, Dani Alves, Iniesta, Xavi, uh, Messi. Then we do have Neymar, 98. I should have put on 97 because that was his best team of season card or team of the year card when he was at Barca. Um, and then Ronaldinho as well, Luis Suarez, and then Johan Cruyff. You might argue that some players deserve the spot over other players. However, for me personally, I feel like Johan Cruyff has to be here because, you know, he he's Johan Cruyff. He kind of started this whole Barca wave, um, or not wave, but like their philosophy and all that good stuff. Um, so obviously, like, I did want to put David Villa in, but then I was like, Neymar is also kind of like, you know, a top tier player there. Um, but yeah, we're going to... We're gonna start the simulation. Hopefully, we do pull off a couple wins. Honestly, if we at least get two out of the three, I'll be fine with that. But not very happy because I know we can do better. But still, I know Real Madrid did get a couple good signings into the team, like Koulibaly and stuff like that. So it's gonna be a, bit, a, a little difficult, but it's not gonna be the hardest. Um, but I still think we could do it, boys. I still think we could do it, and we have to come up against Inter and Borussia Dortmund, which is kind of scary, but we still got it. We got this, boys. Yeah. So, boys, we're at the midway of the season, and I did see that we took at least the one L. I haven't really been, you know, yeah. But looking at the squad, I'm pretty sure that most of the overalls and we're not is injured. That's just nice. But I know most of the overalls are going to be kind of down just because, like I said, these guys are 35 years old each. Um, but since Ronaldinho is out, I guess we could put Ronaldinho in and then put somebody that's been at the club for a minute. So probably like a Ivan Rakitic because I know he's been there for a minute. Um, even though his overall is kind of dwindling, it does not really matter. Um, but we're looking pretty, pretty decent. I'm not going to lie. Um, we're going to look at the standings and everything, but Xavi's also injured, which is kind of a bummer. So I guess we could put, um, probably... David Villa in there, but just put Maradona right there. See what's up with that. See how the vibe is. Um, I do need, like, I just want Dani Alves to start because 
is Dani Alves, you know. Eventually, we're going to put some other strikers in. We'll just see. But but for now, this is what the team is going to be looking like. Just for now, um, well, we're going to take a look at the tables and everything. See what's up with that. Like I said, good. let's see what's up with that. And we're first, which is not bad. We're actually first by a freaking, like, a couple points. But I don't feel too comfortable. Just because, like I said, it's Real Madrid. And they had a couple signings this offseason. Um, bringing in Koulibaly. And I know they brought in Thomas Muller. I don't know why, but you know, um, but we're up by nine points, which is a comfortable lead, but not, you know, we still got to compete. Copa de España, let's see how we did in that. Um, I guess it's still round one, so we're chilling. I don't know if we're actually in it, and I guess we're not, which is very, very interesting, but we move. Um, and then, like I said, this American thing, we already won that, so that's a, that's a little dub. Um, Bayern, wow, Bayern lost, okay, and then UEFA Champions League, I think we're still in it, so yeah, round of 16 against Leverkusen, we should easily win that, but again, we never know with the simulation, so ladies and gentlemen, this is it, this is the Champions League final, and the team we're going to be coming up against, you guys will see in a minute, just guess who it is, just guess, it's freaking Bayern, so, hopefully we don't get embarrassed 8-2. to two. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But, hopefully we don't get embarrassed. We do have some pretty good players. Inter did win the Europa League, which is really good for them, um, as they should have last season. If we do take a look at the standings and see what brought us into the final, we did come up against some very, very difficult teams. However, we did manage to clutch up in the end. We came up against Liverpool in the semifinals, which is a very solid team. But then again, it's Liverpool who's a fan of them. Real Madrid um, lost to Bayern. So, yeah. So, it's not just us. But then in the quarterfinals, we came up against Tottenham or Spurs, whatever. Liverpool beat Man City. Real Madrid beat Atletico de Madrid. And then Bayern came up against Atlanta. Which, you know, not, not too bad. Or Atalanta, whatever. Um, and then for the round of 16, we came up against Bayern Leverkusen. Which I thought we were going to lose because we lost the first game. But then we just scored three goals in the second leg. Um, and kept them um, scoreless. So it was pretty good. And then PSG just completely got obliterated by Tottenham. Which is surprising. Um, Leipzig lost to Atalanta. Um... Sevilla lost, which is kind of understandable. Dortmund lost 5-1. to one, And then Chelsea lost to Real Madrid. You know, money can't buy you anything, I guess. Um, and the, But like I said, for the American Cup, we won. Copa de España, I wonder... I don't know if we won this one. No, yeah, no. Real Madrid won that, so yeah. I know we got eliminated by some sorry team, but I just don't remember who it was. Um, so we're in this... Oh, yeah, by Valencia. I guess it's not too bad because Valencia is a pretty decent team. But... We also did lose the Supercopa, which is annoying because we freaking lost. I mean, we lost to the champions, which was whatever. But yeah, I thought, I thought we could win. But I guess it went to penalty, so it's kind of whatever. But we could have won that. But for La Liga, let's see. Yes, sir. We got the freaking dub for La Liga, boys. Um, 91 points, which is not too bad. We did over top Real Madrid, who I thought were going to be really good this season. But I guess they weren't. They were able to compete with us. But our, obviously, we did have the best players, you know, so it's understandable. But still, uh, Real Madrid didn't do as good as I would imagine. But boys, we're going to live simulate this freaking final. And hopefully, it does not end in bitter, you know, like disarray, I guess you could say. Hopefully, it doesn't end too bad. Because, yeah, I, I, don't, I just don't want another 8-1 or 8-2, whatever. It's going to look pretty nasty if that, you know, if that happens. But our players are well rested. The team looks pretty good. The team has been playing good all season long. Um, despite not winning everything, I still believe in this team. And I feel like we could do work against Bayern. Even though I love Bayern and I love Barca. But we're going to have to, you know, see what's up, boys. They do have Sané. They do have Kimmich. They do have Goretzka. They have a freaking star-studded lineup. But our lineup is better on paper. So let's see if we can finish... Hopefully we do. Barcelona against Bayern, boys. It's time. And we should be able to pull off the dub. If Neymar at least gets a hat trick or Suarez or Cruyff get a couple goals, I'll be completely happy. I don't care who scores as long as you do get the win. Let's go, boys. Hopefully we get some good freaking results. And I know we probably will. But it is what it is if we lose. I wouldn't be too mad because it's Bayern. But, you know, I just, I you know, yeah, the semifinal last year was kind of... This is the one time we can redeem ourselves, boys. So, come on. 
So boys, looking at the halftime stats, surprisingly, Bayern have more possession, but we have equal chances created and equal shots created. Um, Lucas did get injured for that. I'm not sure if that's Lucas Leva or if it's um, Lucas the center back. But we're not. We're looking pretty decent for now. Hopefully, we score another one just to secure the win. But I know we could do this, boys. They have a really good team, but we have a better one. So I'm pretty sure we could get the little dub here. Hopefully, we do. Second half. Let's see if we could score some more goals. I hope Xavi at least gets one. We'll, we'll see. I know he had a really good chance, but it went over the bar. But we move, boys. So, ladies and gentlemen, unlike in real life, we beat Byron. 2-0 in the Champions League final. And even though we didn't win the Supercopa, I prefer this trophy over any of them because obviously it's the best team in Europe. And for this year, this season, we were the best team in Europe. And boys, we just we just dominated. We looked pretty good in the game. Uh, I think we dominated with like 60% possession at the second half. Um, obviously because we had more stamina in our players. But we did our damage we did our work all these players are probably going to retire or they're just going to move on but boys the team did really good we're going to look at who the top goal scorers were just because i'm kind of curious about that see who did you know score the most obviously so if we go to team stats here and then we put barcelona um that was what uh, that, that was just bad i'm sorry you guys had to hear that but if we do put goals, Luis Suarez led the pack with 19. Diego Maradona had 17. Neymar had 13. Lionel Messi had 10, which is surprising because it's Messi. Johan Cruyff had 8. Iniesta had 7. Pique had 5, which is actually surprising. Um, Koeman had 3, probably from corners and stuff like that. Um, I'm surprised Griezmann played. Same thing with Adam Militao. Thierry Henry only had 1 assist, which is kind of sad because I guess... They didn't want to put him in. Uh, Romario had nothing. Poor Romario, man. But Samuel Leto had none. Uh, kind of upsetting. Dani Alves didn't have any, even though he did start the whole season. Ter Stegen had one assist, which is more than Dani Alves, man. That's that's kind of upsetting, but it is what it is, I guess you could say. Um, David Villa had no goals and no assist. I guess there's too much firepower in the team. But Carlos Puyol, again, same thing with him. Um... Xabi didn't have any assists, which is surprising. Same thing with Ronaldinho, even though they did have a lot of appearances. But I guess it's because we did put him in the center mid spot. But still, that's very, very surprising. But if we do go to top assist, Diego Maradona had eight. Luis Suarez had six. Messi had six. Neymar had five. Iniesta, um, it's very surprising because I thought Xabi and Iniesta were going to make like the most assist out of the whole team. But I guess not. Um, PK had more than Xavi, which is kind of upsetting, but it is what it is. We won the Champions League. We won two out of the three or two out of the four, whatever. Um, and I guess if you count the preseason, then it's three out of five. But overall, it was a decent season. Obviously not the best, not what I would have hoped for, but still we won the Champions League. So I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, but boys, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did leave a like, subscribe, I'll do all that good stuff. I'm thinking about doing either Arsenal um or madrid next i'm leading towards arsenal just because arsenal's you know up the gunners but either arsenal or madrid or bayern i'll see what team you know i kind of want to do do a little um retro rebuild type thing and to see what happens from there but boys leave a like subscribe do all that good stuff don't do anything stupid the new series does start tomorrow, so it's going to be called Wheel of Foot. I just need to finish up my weekend league to sell my players to get a couple coins. But boys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. I can feel your heart.